Good morning, Scorpio. I hope all is well. Uh, I am hopping on here to get a daily vibe morning check-in for you guys, waking up with you, right? So uh, before we get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to be notified every time I do post a new video. Like, comment, share, show your love and support. As always, please keep it positive. These are free readings, guys, so if you would like to donate, donations are much appreciated. I do accept Venmo and Cash App. That information is also in the description box below. Um, I am going to be taking a break from personal readings, guys. Uh, so it is what it is. <laughs> so I will not be, I know that information, I need to fix it and get it out of the description box at some point today, but I will not be doing any personal readings at this time. Um, just, I am focusing on growing the channel uh, more with other readings and uh, work, my other job, right? in the real world. So, um, I can't spread myself too thin energetically right now, uh, because it does take a toll on me and I, I have to mom and I have to do a bunch of other stuff in life. And it, you know, uh, if I'm trying to do too much, it just, I get too worn out too easily. So I will be taking a break from personal readings, my love. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Gratitude, Scorpio. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. This was on my table this morning. Uh, it fell out yesterday. And so I feel like through this eclipse, um, full moon eclipse, I feel like, you know, this is the energy that we need to focus on. Whatever changes that are coming, right? Um, and I feel like for some of you too, uh, I put the evil eye on it too, because there's the energy um, I was picking up on of like changes and some of them might not be necessarily like the happiest changes, right? Having to make changes, um, but understanding like it's for your best interest, right? Um, being grateful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Like to me, you know, when we're looking at life dissatisfied, right? Like things aren't going my way, um, you know, whether it's in a connection, job, whatever, like feeling dissatisfied when, you know, spirit wants you to get up and just be grateful just for simply breathing, right? Simply being here, simply for having new opportunities to engage in, to move forward in, whatever it might be for you, Scorpio be grateful, right? Because this is the energy of also bringing in new and then new opportunities. Um, you know, it's interesting as I woke up, I've been waking up recently at like four in the morning. Um, and around where I live, there's this little black cat. I'm going to storytelling time before we get into the reading. Um, there's a bunch of cats, but for some reason, like the black cat is drawn to me, right? Go figure. <laughs> I think it's pretty adorable. I'll sit outside and it'll just kind of like you know, uh, up here <laughs> and, uh, like, hello. Uh, and last night I fell asleep on my couch and, um, the ring, the ring camera notification, like the camera, uh, by my front door or front, the front of the house went off and it was my little friend at four in the morning, right? It was, uh, I, it woke me up and it was the little cat just sitting out there like near where I was sleeping. It was really pretty adorable. Um, but um, I was like, you know, all right, I gotta get up, I can't sleep. Um, I sat and I, I ended up, you know, I think I was awake until like 5.30 before I could go back to sleep. But something told me like, well, you know, let's look into, I know the, you know, they represent prosperity and good luck. Um, they're witchy, right? Whatever. <laughs> I think that's funny, but uh, they do represent good luck. And, you know, a lot of people are like, ooh, bad cats, that's a, or black cats, that's bad. And, and I don't think so. I think they represent good luck. And uh, pro I know that they represent prosperity, uh, good luck. Um, I know that I think it's either, was it in Chinese culture, maybe, or Jap Japanese or Chinese? I don't know. Whoever, uh, they, uh, they say hello to when they see a black cat because it is, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, Crossing paths with one represents, you know, good fortune, prosperity, good luck, positive things, positive changes. So, um, and I decided to look up more into what's the meaning, right? Because I couldn't sleep and I got, um, you know, spiritual protection. And at that time of the morning, I was like, oh my gosh, it's waking me up, letting me know it's here, right? Protection, right? So 
call me crazy, call me corny, whatever, but I thought it was adorable. So that is now my little friend. So, but, uh, you know, I feel like with this shift through the solar eclipse, Scorpio, also the message that I was getting is, you know, there um, might be some things that are changing, but there's spiritual protection. There's protection there. Um, there's moving forward into prosperity. Um, and some of these changes are hard, right? Because I just felt like I just got really emotional. Um, and I just started crying for a little bit. Like I got emotional and just released. And I don't even know what the fuck it was that I was feeling. I know I just went through a lot of change and stress and still, you know, it's like the cycle of just like, all right, I got to get up. I got to go. I got to do what I got to do to take care of my life and my things and make sure my, my child and I are okay and all this stuff. Right. And so, yes, I've had a lot going on and maybe that was the cry that I needed to, but I felt like it was more of this energy thing too. Right. It was just like, there's a release, right? There's going to be change, right? But it feels like, Scorpio, that it's like, you know, for some of you, it might be painful change or releasing something that's painful or something, seeing something that's painful, whether it's betrayal, whatever it is, but also, you know, seeing the brighter side of life, seeing the new opportunities after this betrayal, this disappointment, this heartache, whatever it is, this change that's been hard to make, okay? Um, and being thankful for your life and the opportunities that it presents and understanding that if you are stuck in a stagnant energy or an energy where you're not being presented opportunities or moving forward and in this energy of gratitude, you know, then that can be painful in itself, right? So, message right so let's go ahead and get into it um let's do oracle cards first so spirit angels ancestors guides please help me provide scorpio sun moon rising with any messages you would like for them to receive also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot amen i love it though it's like animals with me animals always <laughs> here's the rabbit speaking of right so scorpio with the rabbit rabber with the rabbit <laughs> Ooh, i said rapper rubber rubber right because it says too much concern with sexual matters okay scorpio so number one too much concern with sexual matters at this time i feel like spirit is saying you know pump the brakes yes it's springtime people are wearing less clothes it's getting we're moving into hotter weather whatever right wherever you are depends maybe you're somewhere still where it's snowing because that that is goes that is going on but um there's the energy of too much concern with sexual matters going on um, and the need to refocus that energy, right? Use the sexual energy to manifest, to, to uh, use that sexual energy to create other things in your life. I feel like Spirit is saying, put a pause on whatever this is because there is, there could be an unhealthy attachment, an unhealthy lust, um, something that it has been painful to release, or maybe there's just the energy of, you know, too much concern with sexual matters is causing a painful, um, vibration in your life or just challenges in your life right now that are not necessary. Cause we've got causing great worry over nothing. Um, or there is great worry over nothing in a situation, Some of you may, may be dealing with um, uh, a man, says dealings with a relationship with a man with dark complexion or dark hair. So too much concern in a situation could be bringing great worry over nothing, stress, i.e., especially moving into this energy of like, what do we want to bring, right, with the law of attraction into our lives, you know, not, not this, this constant, whatever this is for some of you, there might be this energy of fear or, you know, if there is too much concern with sexual matters, I feel like I want to pull why we have those two next to each other. Cause it kind of, it's like contradictory a little bit, but, um, wrap it up when I said rubber, right? So it's like for some of you where it's like, you just can't help yourself. I feel like, you know, spirit could, that could be a warning and spirit is saying, you know, use protection. Okay. So anyway, we don't need to go into all that. We're all adults here, <laughs> Scorpio adults. So anyway, um, let's, before I draw any more cards, let's clarify. What is this great worry over nothing? What is this great worry over nothing for Scorpio? Do I want to use this deck? Mm. You, 
could be worried. Uh, some of you could be, too, there could be too much concern if you're in a connection, right? With sexual matters. Um, that be, could be causing great worry over nothing. You or your person. Remember, energies can be interchangeable. All right, somebody's too concerned about sexual energy here or worrying about. Maybe you could be worried that your partner's engaging or somebody you're dealing with is engaging uh, with sexual, in sexual, something with someone else. Sexual, I was going to say sexual energies, sexual acts, whatever. All right, but we do have great worry over nothing. Okay, so what is this? Um, the moon card. Okay, so things will be coming out. Things will be exposed. Uh, why do we have great worry over nothing with the moon card? Why do we have great worry over nothing with the moon card? Temperance and the five of wands and reverse. Okay, so uh, we do have competitive energy here. We've got Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Somebody starting drama, um, competition, competitive energy, temperance and reverse. Uh, that is somebody not spiritual, uh, not protected either, right? So this person may, uh, are these in reverse or not? Okay. I guess we're meant to take it that way though, because I just, that wasn't, so. Know what this is this is weird for someone there's this energy of like some type of i saw the three of cups some type of third party interfering energy third party partying uh friends friend group community here uh don't let your emotions get the best of you great worry over nothing there's the energy of somebody isn't free okay their life is not drama free basically like somebody thrives on drama temperance energy sagittarius doesn't necessarily have to be but i'm looking at this temperance energy there's just this energy of it's like i can't live without drama whoever this is um and again just a lot of fire energy um is bringing possibly great worry over nothing to you in a situation that's going to be exposed. What is this two of swords energy? Something about money with a ten, two of ten of pentacles. Uh, we've got the two of swords here needing to make a decision, not let the emotions get your emotions get the best of you in a situation with this energy too. Um, this to me is like being indecisive here about like what to cut out of your life, not knowing, right? Not having all the answers, whatever this is. Um, there has kind of maybe been great worry, maybe possibly spirit is saying in a, in a, in a sexual connection or something here, that's going to be exposed somehow. It's like, you're going to have the information that you need here to make the decision that you need in regards to something. Hermit energy could be involving a Virgo, doesn't necessarily have to be. All right, what is this too much concern with sexual matters for Scorpio? Somebody um, isn't at a distance, isn't willing to give you equal give and take. That just fell out on the floor of the universe, the world. I mean, basically, okay, so there's a distance here and now you're concerned. There's too much concern with sexual matters in regards to somebody that's not close. Um... Could be your person's energy too, interchangeable energy, but then we have great worry over nothing here showing up. All right, King of Swords, the devil. Something's ending here, okay? There's something ending here, whether there was some type of toxic, uh, and maybe this could just be like a connection here, you know, somebody's not able to free themselves from somebody that's full of drama, 
okay? Because this could be that. You know, if somebody's not willing to equal, give you equal give and take, somebody's not willing to free themselves from something toxic, someone full of drama, you don't have all the, uh, you know, um, information you need in a situation, right? Because it, here we are with the two of swords feeling indecisive, but with the moon card things being exposed. Great worry over nothing. I feel like it could even be like, why are you, it could even be in a situation where there's, there's, you create a great worry over nothing. Like maybe this is just spirit saying like, this is an energy that needs to be released because we've got the devil here and toxic. Okay. Um, or cre it's creating great worry in your life for nothing. Right. Because the six, because if there's the six of pentacles, Hmm. I'm confused now. Hold on. Let's see. Why do we have the devil here with the king of swords? We've got the six of pentacles. Somebody at a distance could either be giving, could want to give you equal give and take. And there's just drama here. Or somebody who's unwilling to change. Somebody who's unwilling to stop. Can't free themselves from some type of drama, dramatic situation. King of wands. Why do we have the devil? King of Wands. Um, I gotta keep an eye on the time. So with the Moon card and the King of Wands, the King of Wands is somebody who um, is very attractive, gets a lot of attention, um, very charismatic. Hmm. I don't know, for some of you, if there's a distance here, see, this is so contradictory. It's like somebody's okay alone, happy alone, wish fulfillment, nine of cups. Um, then we've got the six of pentacles. There's too much concern with sexual energy for somebody in it in a connection. So focus more on the connection and not sexual energy right now for some of you. We've got the king of swords with the devil. So there's victory. Somebody's winning, winning a battle with some type of toxic situation, energy, whatever this is, whether it's like been some interfering third party friendship, third party energy. Again, this is shit starting drama. Um, it's like winning, having a victory here in a situation with some kind of toxic, dramatic energy that's created great worry over nothing in a situation. Queen of Swords in reverse, that is a bitch. I'm just going to say it like it is. So for some of you, it could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Feminine. We've got the Queen of Swords in reverse. It's not a fun person to deal with. Um, here's Temperance in reverse again. So yeah, confirmation there. This person could have air and fire in their chart, but this is also, again, um, There's great worry over nothing in a situation. You've got somebody trying to start shit, start drama, whatever this is, even if it's not in a relationship, but I feel like it for some of you, if it is a connection or something like that, you know, the, the too much concern with sexual energy here showing up, if you are at a distance from someone or something like that, or there's just something going on here in regards to that, it's going to be exposed. Whatever's going on here with the whale, the moon, great worry over nothing, not having all the information that you need, Here, offense, pentacles. So something here for, for if you've been investing time or there's been time invested in a situation here, um, somebody wants you to regret it here with the five of cups, five of wands, drama, chaos, 
people working together, three of pentacles. Jesus, this is taking a different turn. Different scenarios for different people. This is a collective reading. For some of you, there's a situation, somebody's concerned with the money that you could be making or that's coming in or blessings that you're getting here. There's dealings with, you know, a connection here causing drama. This is going to be exposed. Great worry over nothing. There's been uh, the energy of wanting to create that energy in your life so you don't get this. So you're in this five of cups, five of, five of cups, five of wands energy, right? And then the full moon of clips, right? So manifesting bullshit into your life, basically. Three of pentacles, this is a team, teamwork effort here. Uh, this person can't stand alone, whoever this is. They have to have other people doing their dirty work or other people doing their work. And for some of you, if you are protected, it's like they, they, uh, I'm getting the vibe too, because we've got the hierophant here. You could be a healer, spiritual teacher, or something like that here. Um, divinely protected because that came up right the spiritual protection with the black cat um, somebody has other people do dirty work it's like they feel like they're not going to get hit as hard with karma or they want everybody else to get hit with the karma too ace of wands um five of swords yeah it's like there's something here conflict in regards to sexual energy um maybe just you know release or just don't even worry about sexual energy right now because it just feels like there's drama here in regards to sexual energy four of swords someone wants to make you sick or somebody wants to put you in an energy where you, you feel like you you know are heartbroken you can't function or you know what i mean the four of swords is having to take a break take, take a time out um low vibe energy could be a low vibe uh Libra with the Empress in reverse as well, but somebody who's very low vibrational. This is all low vibrational energy. You know, it could be simply here with the Hierophant, your spiritual teacher, the light, okay? Whatever you're investing your time in, though, anyway, Spirit is saying there's great worry over nothing. Just don't even worry about this drama, drama right now, excuse me, because, um, Whatever you are investing your time in and committing yourself to, it's going to pay off, all right? There's the sun card, right? You're going to be happy. For some of you, it is walking away here from a situation with the eight of cups. It might be emotional. That's what I was talking about at the beginning of the reading. But with the king of swords, it's like winning. Here's the queen of cups. Being on top of your emotional game. You're not feeling, feeling like yourself, feeling like you're not in this energy of feeling um, conflicted or like your intuition is blocked or something weird is going on, right? Somebody's been trying to get through to you with the Page of Cups. Maybe you weren't willing to hear them out here. All right, Hermit Energy, we've got Virgo. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but this is also the energy of, um, you know, soul searching. You're gonna possibly, you know, for some of you through this, again, moon card energy, things coming to light, needing to do soul searching, you know, disconnecting yourself from certain energies, taking care of yourself, moving forward, investing in work, the things that you've been investing your time and money in is going to bring you freedom. Ace of Wands, things that you're passionate about. And look, here's an emperor and a new beginning. So for some of you, if you've been in an unrequited love situation too, we've got stability and a new beginning with Somebody who goes after what they want and knows what they want. This isn't somebody who's indecisive, okay? So uh, whatever's going on here, I hope this message was helpful for someone. I've got to get going today. Um, I love you guys. I will be back later. Um, again, if you'd like to make a donation, that information's in the description box below. Uh, to anybody that has, we love and appreciate you guys so, so much. And have a beautiful, blessed day. Bye.